in this lecture we'll go about and understand chapter 4 of variance where we'll talk about utility now you know we'll go ahead and let's just remind about what we have done as part of chapter 3 the first thing that we tried and understood was related to preferences so you know when we would have said that we prefer x over y this is the sign that we would have used if we are indifferent between two commodities x and y then we would have said that we are you know using this sign to show the indifference or equally preference between x and y similarly if x is as good as y then we would have used like this this would have meant that the utility that you are getting from x is greater than or equal to the utility you are getting from y now you know we also talked about some of the assumptions under preferences and the first assumption was related to completeness under completeness we said that given two bundles we should always be able to suggest whether we prefer x over y or y over x or we are indifferent between x and y we should never have we should never never be saying that i don't know this should not be an option given two bundles x and y you should always be able to tell which of the bundle you give preference to then we went ahead and we talked about reflexivity where we said that any bundle is as good as itself so you know if i give you two pencils which are exactly the same two natraj pencils and i ask you which pencil would you prefer you should prefer the two equally any any bundle should be as good as itself then we went ahead and we talked about transitivity where we said that if x is you know at least as good as y y is as good as z then x is as good as z if you prefer x strictly over y and y strictly over z then you will prefer x strictly over z if you're indifferent between x and y and y and z then you would be indifferent between x and z so this is what transitivity was all about now let's begin with chapter 4 so we have to go ahead and talk about something very important in this chapter which is known as the utility function now why did we go ahead and revise the concepts because you know for any function to be represented in the form of utility function we want to make sure that our preference relation is complete reflexive transitive and the function is continuous function any function which is complete which follows the assumption of transitivity and which follows the assumption of reflexiveness something that we just discussed if these three assumptions and also it is continuous if these three assumptions are satisfied then we can go ahead and represent the utility function we can give preference relation a form of utility function now continuity is only required to ensure that the utility function that you get is also continuous in nature so you know if my preferences are discontinuous then i won't be able to get a continuous utility function so in order for me to represent something by a continuous utility function i want to make sure that the four main assumptions are satisfied which are completeness reflexive transitive and continuous now 
what does continuity mean continuity means that small changes to a consumption bundle will cause only small changes to the preference level also it should not be the case that small changes to the consumption bundle does not cause any change to the preference or cause a huge change to the preference now you know if we understand this well this is something that we have already done we already understand that two bundles can be represented in the form of preferences what we are now going to go and do is that we are going to convert the concept of preferences into the concept of utility so what we are going to do is the following we are going to say that if x is preferred over y we have two bundles x and y and let's say that x is preferred over y then the utility that i get from x should be greater than the utility that i get from y right so supposedly i give you a bundle x as 5,4 and the next bundle y is 3,2 and i tell you that you know x and y represent the consumption of good 1 and good 2 and i also tell you that good 1 and good 2 are normal goods and since they are normal goods we have monotonic preferences more of a good is preferred over less of a good so you know because if i compare this 3 versus 5 the consumption of good one has increased if i compare this 2 versus 4 the consumption of good two has increased so when i go from bundle y to bundle x both good 1 and good 2's consumption is increasing and from monotonic preferences i know that y should be preferred over x now if y uh, sorry x should be preferred over y so sorry now if x is preferred over y then all that we are saying is that in terms of a utility function the utility that i should get from x should be greater than the utility i should get from y utility function can be any form but it should satisfy this thing that the utility from x should be more than the utility from y because of this because x is preferred over y now let's take example of this so for example i tell you that okay the utility function that i want to represent is u of good 1 and good 2 is such that it is consumption of good 1 plus consumption of good 2 how much utility will i get from bundle x i will get 5 plus 4 which is 9 how much utility will i get from bundle y i will get 3 plus 2 which is 5 clearly utility from x is greater than utility from y and we knew that x is preferred over y which means that this form of utility function is well representing the preferences when preferences said that x is preferred over y then the utility function also say, stated the same thing right the utility from bundle x was more than the utility from bundle y let's take another example suppose i tell you that the utility function is represented by i don't want to write x and y i'll rather write x1 x2 good 1 and good 2 and let's say that this is represented by x1 into x2 
then what will be the utility from bundle 5 comma 4 it would be 5 into 4 which would be 20 what what would be the utility from bundle 3 comma 2 it would be 3 into 2 which would be 6 so from monotonicity because bundle 5 comma 4 had more amount of good 1 and good 2 as compared to bundle 3 comma 2 we knew that this bundle was preferred over this bundle but now we have also gone ahead and said that if this bundle is preferred over this then the utility from 5 comma 4 is greater than the utility from 3 comma 2 and this utility function right here does take care of these preferences it truly represents the preferences that if x is preferred over y then utility from x should be greater than the utility from y so ideally what we are saying is the following if you know i'm going to form utility functions such that if x is preferred over y then the utility from x is also greater than the utility from y if x is not preferred over y or x dash is less preferred over x double dash then the utility from x dash is also less than utility from x double dash if i am indifferent between x dash and x double dash then the utility from the two bundles is also the same so i will construct a utility function such that it truly represents my preference relation any function that represents your preference relation which means any function which is of the form that if x is preferred over y then u of x is greater than u of y that is known as a utility function okay now utility is an ordinal concept and when we say that utility is an ordinal concept we mean that utility is all about ordering we are not interested in the cardinal value of utility we are only interested in the ordinal concept what does this mean supposedly i tell you that the utility from bundle x is 5 and the utility from bundle y is 4.9 or i tell you that the utility from bundle x is this much and the utility from bundle y is this much both of these just represent that x is preferred over y the gap between the utilities does not mean anything the magnitude of the utilities does not mean anything utilities are only used for the purpose of ranking the bundles as long as i'm able to rank the bundles I am okay with it. I don't want to go beyond that. I don't want to go in and say that, you know what, X is twice as good as Y or X is 10 times as good as Y. That is not my concept. All that I want to try and understand is whether X is preferred over Y or not. So in that sense, I am only interested in ordinality. I'm only interested in ranking of the bundles and not really in whether how much is the utility I get from X or Y. So just try and see this thing. This is important. If the utility from X is 6 and the utility from Y is 2, then X is strictly preferred over Y and that is it that I conclude. 
I would never say that X is thrice as preferred to Y. No, utility is only used for ranking. 